Chevys cost less at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Save on new Silverado 1500, 2500 heavy duty, and 3500 heavy duty trucks. Shop online at jackburford.com. Jack Burford Chevrolet, where Chevys cost less. Here we are, another hump day, and there's no shortage of news for me to report to you. From the WBON TV studios, I'm Marissa Hempel, and here's yet another afternoon news brief. Madison County is now officially under a hepatitis A outbreak. According to the health department today, it's now advised for all in Madison County to get vaccinated for hep A. There are now 24 confirmed cases here in Madison County as part of the statewide outbreak, which is currently to blame for 14 deaths. The health department says in the Commonwealth, there are 91 counties affected at this time, and the CDC defines an outbreak as a sudden increase in the number of cases of a disease above what is expected with a population. The hep A vaccine is given in two doses, six months apart, and can be provided at local pharmacies and some medical providers. Officials say that most insurance plans will be covering this immunization. Jackson County officials took a man and woman into custody that drove off a cliff last night following a pursuit late last evening. Deputies had allegedly seen the car weaving as they were on patrol and then had to chase the vehicle for several miles through McKee on Highway 421. The car crashed into a tree at one point and then went through a wooded area but ended up unintentionally being driven off of a cliff. Both the man and woman in the car had to be taken to UK hospital. The woman is facing serious injuries and broken bones and the man did suffer minor injuries and charges will be following their release from care according to deputies. Months after a local woman died from injuries sustained in a head-on collision on Battlefield Memorial Highway, the driver of the other vehicle has been arrested and charged with manslaughter. 19-year-old Dylan Casey of Waco had already been charged with DUI and wanted endangerment in connection with the October 25th wreck that killed 22-year-old Brianna Cowden. However, the grand jury indictment added the new, more serious charge of manslaughter. And last night at the Richmond City Commission, the local youth in action group presented Assistant Chief of Police Rodney Richardson, the Officer of the Year Award for his work in helping youth stay drug and alcohol free, as well as for his outreach to the community. Several other officers from the Richmond Police Department and EKU Campus Police were nominated as well. The city will also be providing a bond to the local YMCA branch to rebuild the structure that their facilities are currently located in. The decision to completely rebuild was made after it was discovered that a restoration project would cost at least $2 million. However, part of the old Richmond High School will still be preserved due to its historical significance. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.